What's good, fam? We back at it with another video. Now, I'ma see this. Just men's mental health getting put in just one month. I don't like it. It need to be prolonged throughout the whole year. And also, I say the same for vice versa. But we're just going to speak on the men in this video. Now, you see on social media, if you watch on social media, this just the month, just some folks seeing the month alone gets annihilated. Just like Father's Day. I'm not a fan of Father's Day. I show my father as much love as he as I can give to him throughout the year and so on and so forth. So let's just keep that flowing, man. You know, I'm not a big fan of Father's Day myself. But um Yeah, this men's mental health period it needs to be talked about. So we're gonna start with this video right here. I don't know what's gonna happen in this video, so we just gonna jump straight into it. Remember, it's okay to not be okay, but remember it's never okay to suffer in silence. Ha! True or false? Most men would rather get punched in the face than talk about their feelings. <laughs> yes, true. Very true. But don't punch me in my face. <laughs> How many men do you think die by suicide each day in the UK? Have a guess. Raise your hand if you think it's under five. It's 12. That's one man every two hours. While we're all enjoying our day, we're going to lose 12 men to suicide today. How are you doing? How are you doing? Hmm? How are you doing? What bothers you about yourself? Uh, I just wish I just felt more comfortable in my own skin a lot of times, you know, because I feel like um, I would be able to be more effective as a person if I could just like, kind of get a, not toil in some of my own, uh, you know, if small self-worth issues or mm. like lack of confidence at times. I am dead inside. I don't talk to anybody. Like, I don't even talk to my parents. Like, I don't, uh, like, I live with my parents, but we maybe talk two words maybe like two words a day like two maybe a sentence a day are you okay no thank you for asking because i oh my god man uh mm. i'm sorry y'all that one don't talk to anybody. I don't have anybody to tell my feelings to. And I've never done this before. I've never, like, told anybody about my feelings. I just typically keep it all on the inside. Just deal with it. And that's what we were taught coming up. <clears throat> Not all men, but a lot of us. We were told to suppress it, push it down, don't bring it up. Just get over it. Deal with it. But we were never told how to unload it, heal from it, talk about it. Because when we want to talk about it, it's weird. Because we are already like, I'm going to say it, we are already trained to suppress it. It's like we're soldiers without even being in the military. But that's what I do. I got to admit, I got to have to say I need help. Dude, I don't want to need help. I don't want to need help. I want to, I want to know, you, uh, you know, because somewhere inside of me, you can't help me. I help me. I don't want to need help. I don't need you. I needed somebody. They didn't do it. 
I've been in this mental state. It happens off and on still. But but you actually get like it's some people that that bring in that character of you they want to help you, but they'll use that as ammo to really try to break your mind. And you get in survival mode. You're like, I don't want nobody to get near me. Stay fully away from me. I'll help myself. But then some folks will say you're selfish for doing that. But like, you don't even know what I went through. And you don't even want to know what I went through. So I decided at that point, I guess, I don't need you. The only person I need is me. And I'll be damned if I'm ever going to need somebody. I ain't needing somebody. I'll be damned if I'm ever going to need somebody again. So that's where I'm at, man. I woke up on Friday morning at 4 a.m. to a message that one of my friends back home had killed himself. This was uh, five hours before me weighing. So, Ricky, lad, that's for you. But there's a stigma in this world that men can't talk. Listen, if you're a man, You've got weight on your shoulders and you think the only way you can solve this by killing yourself please speak to someone speak to anyone now i'm gonna say this um i've tried it quite a few times but then after a while i, I just came to my came to came to it was like I was supposed to be here you know I feel and then I start to feel like if I do go through with this or if it really does happen how devastated the people around me will feel like my son the people that really like how the presence that I put out to people like this is me all the way 100% and I don't fake it like people want to miss like certain things like the presence of me like how I made them feel like if I made you feel great if it's it could be a lot of things um but there's just some dirty ass people out here that when you try to speak to them about certain things, some folks just throw you to the side and be like, I don't care. I don't want to hear that shit. And God forbid they go and do this to themselves. Some folks be like, maybe I should have listened. Like, you really never know what folks be going through, man. Because you can wear that mask, that smile, all day, every day. Until that one person asks you, how are you doing? And you don't have an answer. People would rather, I know I'd rather be made cry on my shoulder and go to his funeral next week. So please, let's get rid of this stigma and men start talking. And I also see the stigma where some women be feeling like it's weak for a man to do this. Y'all are something else. Y'all the same woman when y'all speak about how what y'all going through in the whole nine, but yet he can't do the same. Like he's not going through shit too. Like, if he can put your mind at rest, why can't you do the same for him? 
and it's not all the women. It's just some. Please don't fucking kill yourself, dog. It's really not worth it, bro. I tried to do that shit a couple of times. I thought it was the answer. It's not, bro. It's not a solution, bro. Please don't fucking kill yourself. You are better than that, bro. If you're gonna kill yourself, you're gonna kill that little kid inside of you, too, bro. That was once eight years old, six years old, whatever, that had dreams and shit. You're gonna kill that kid, too, bro. Don't do that shit, bro. Tough times don't fucking last, bro. They don't last, bro. You gotta keep your fucking head up, bro. No matter what you fucking going through, you're not alone, homie. You're not fucking alone, bro. You got people with you, bro. We feel the same. Way, bro. We still keeping our heads up, bro. We want you to be with us, bro. We want to be successful together, bro. We want to lift each other up. And you better than that. You better than just getting yourself, bro. You better than that shit, bro. I don't want to lose nobody, bro. I don't want to hear about another man killing himself, bro. I want to hear about men becoming successful, bro. I want to see men take care of their families, bro. I want to see men be heroes, bro. I love you, dog. Don't want to see y'all killing yourself, please, bro. You're fucking out. Not just that. You want yourself to be at peace to like really not having to like think about the shit that you be thinking about as much like and really get yourself out of that shit that's the real thing asshole dude you're an asshole you murdered yourself you murdered yourself you killed someone that person happened to be you but you couldn't even show up for yourself. You. F I get he just lashing out. He's lashing out because if something happened, probably like that, probably to one of his friends and stuff like that. Um, but I'm like, it happened though. I get it. Talk to the folks that you and you it's another thing when you see like that person is the strongest like the strongest person you know that you feel you know they could be going through the some of the most fucked up mental things in their mind just to stay just to stay still and stand tall like they doing mental battles with themselves and it's just that like bro come over here we're gonna go out we're gonna talk about some things like if i got a i got an example if y'all watch the pivot and i forgot what the basketball player name was uh it's michael beasley i believe where he even said he'd been through so much shit and he just couldn't find good people. And he broke the fuck down. He broke down. You get in that, you like, you, you so in survival mode so much that when people be like, man, just come on, just come on. You can come out, stuff like that. Be like, yo, like, I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to do that. It's defensive, of course. But that's the, you got to have a different circle. People that really, truly, genuinely care about you. I didn't even know that. Anybody tells you words and ideas can change the world. And I know I keep pausing it. My apologies, but I got to get these thoughts out while I can. Um, Robin Williams said it in an interview where you can make the whole world laugh nonstop, but where is that for you? Who is making me laugh? Who is here? Who is helping me through certain things that I'm going through? Hey, another day. You can put on that mass smile 
everything good, everything all right. But when you get into these four walls by yourself. Hey, one more down. You should be proud of yourself. You really should. I'm proud of you. I know you got a lot going on. I know you got a lot of shit on your shoulders. You got a lot of shit on your chest. Don't stop. You can't quit now. You come too far, man. Your heart's a warrior. You're stronger than you think. You made it through all them other bad days. And I know these days, they all blend together. Yesterday feels like today. And tomorrow's gonna feel like yesterday. It's kind of just the way it goes. There's only one thing you can do. You gotta change tomorrow. You gotta be better than you were today. And don't forget, your future you needs you. Your past you doesn't. You'll be alright. I know you. You always are. Make sure you come back. Remember, it's okay. And also, I gotta say this as well. A lot of us can be having the most dreadful, negative feel day to the point where it might even turn us insane. If we can make it just to tomorrow. That could be a totally different day. A totally different day. Now. I struggle with things off and on. Especially with depression. Um, but I learned how to deal with it. Um, cause I want to be able to impute that in my son when he's going through stuff like that. Um, and even in my daughter, when she gets older, but I'm not, I, I wasn't blessed to have another daughter yet. So, but just for my future kids, um, like you can have a, a terrible year. A terrible 365, but that 366, that one day after that, could change. Just from you making a split decision. Hopefully, not to eliminate yourself from this world, because you definitely deserve to be here. But just to want to be better just to want to be mentally better physically better spiritually better in any aspect of it but and also i felt where i used to fake a lot i used to try to act like somebody else Thinking it's gonna help. Um, think like some think like differently, like how the world wanted me to think. Until I actually was just like, I'm tired of this shit. I'm tired of this shit. It's not working. Then I came back to me. I started peeling back the layers of like what's going on within myself, what's going on with me mentally. It took me four years to completely heal myself. Four years. Because I was depressed for three. Sometimes it takes that long. Some people be like, well, you're going to heal yourself in such and such a couple days and then... No, sometimes that healing process takes longer than you expect it because you're digging deep within yourself to find out what's going on. That's hard work. You fight it. I mean, it's, it's like you fighting in a boxing ring. You getting your ass whipped. But 
is helping. Um, but just getting that one, one person to ask, are you okay? Like, really okay. And I mean genuine folks. You can definitely tell them that you're not. That's a start. Telling the truth to yourself is a start from you just lying to yourself like, I'm good, knowing damn well you're not. Being truthful within yourself will help heal. And that can be in any aspect if you're at a job that's making you depressed. I know sometimes you really, really, really need that job. But if it's killing you, mentally, physically, spiritually, you have to leave it. A relationship that's doing the same, you have to leave it. Stress kills quicker than a bullet. Stress busts pipes. <laughs> Pressure. Bus pipes. That's why some folks do that to themselves. They get tired. Especially if nobody is listening. And you are doing everything in your power to cry out for help. Nobody's listening. Another thing that really helped me. Is actually listening to other folks' stories as well. Looking at how some folks, I could be going through some stuff, but I listen to some folks that could be going through the most catastrophic stuff worse than me. And they get through it. Men in general. Also women. But we talk about men in this video. Went through all that and came back out through it. Fellas, y'all matter. You definitely matter. Especially to your families, your, your real friends. They need you here. And you can also be a testimony. They love, they they love seeing you feeling good and the whole night. And I'm really talking about the ones that's 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 in your circle that really love seeing you doing well, seeing you happy, jittery, everything under the fucking sun. That you're being your authentic childhood you. Those are the people you need to keep around. Definitely. And if you have a wife, a girlfriend, it could be a, it can be just a friend. She checks in on you, see how you doing in the whole nine. And I mean, she even does, like, if you're fucking up. And she tells you, like, this is not the way. She gives you suggestions to better yourself. Keep her the fuck around. Keep those people the fuck around. Because you know within yourself is not doing well for you. Well, fellas, there's a lot we could be doing to better ourselves. Find something that discovers stuff about, about yourself. You know? All the shit that you had to deal with back then, heal from it. Go to therapy. Go to therapy. Go work out. Meditate. But stay consistent with it. It's going to be tough. Absolutely is going to be tough. You know what I'm saying? But it's all, it's that shadow work. You have to do it. Because man. How are we going to take care of everyone else if we don't even take care of ourselves. 
Shit, you can see Batman out here. He was out here. <laughs> Batman was out here doing all this shit for Gotham. But he also had that crew back there like, nah, Bruce, that was messed up. How, like Even Alfred, like, you need some sleep. You need to do something for yourself. You need to do this. It's stuff for himself. But seriously, how are you going to take care of everybody else if you're not good? Mentally, physically, spiritually financially down the line because once you get those three down oh shit you're gonna be making money seriously it's gonna gravitate to you you gotta stay consistent with that as well but you make sure that you do those three things <sighs> this was a tough video to get through i can't lie <laughs> but yeah let's take care of ourselves fellas and just for a month, keep this shit going forever. Forever. Understand? Yeah, man. Uh, I honestly feel like I got a little couple of stuff off my chest. But, fellas, let me know down in the comment sections how y'all feel about this video. I got love for y'all, man. I want to see y'all prospering, doing y'all thing, you know? And also, they got women out here that's doing the same. They want to see y'all doing y'all thing. You know? Ladies, we love you too. Some of y'all that pretty much shitting on this. The, I'm not even going to even talk about you. But to the ones that really care about men's health. We care. We definitely care about y'all health mentally also. But to, but seriously, to the ones that really care about men's health, mental, physical, spiritual health, my, my sincere love goes out to y'all. Big flowers, sincere love goes out to y'all. Because y'all really keep a lot of men going. Seriously. Just speaking life into them. So yeah. If y'all like this video, smash the like button for your boy. Comment down below what y'all thought. Share the video and also subscribe to the channel. You know what I'm saying? We out this piece. Peace, love, blessings. We out.